Lieserberg explained. Lieserberg is a seasonal amusement park located within the city center of Gothenburg, Sweden. The park, which has been operating for close to 100 years, is home to many attractions, both new and old. Over its long history, Lieserberg has seen the construction and removal of a huge number of rides, ranging from small scale additions to even large scale roller coasters. Throughout this, however, it has constantly remained one of the most visited amusement parks within Scandinavia, attracting roughly 3 million guests each year. The history of the park's name, Liseberg, dates back even further than the attraction's official opening on the 8th of May 1923. In the beginning, the landowner, Johann Anders Lomberg, named his property Liesersberg, meaning Lisa's Mountain, after his wife Elizabeth. Over time, the name of the area evolved, becoming the shortened Liseberg we know today. Close to the start of the 20th century, Gothenburg City bought the land, eventually using it as part of the Gothenburg Exhibition of 1923, which celebrated the city's 300th anniversary. It was at this point that Liseberg Amusement Park was born. The exhibition featured a range of attractions, including the wooden side friction roller coaster Bergbahnen. Originally, the leisure park was intended to be a temporary attraction. However, after experiencing roughly 800,000 visitors in just over one month of operation, the park was kept open. A year after its debut, Liseberg was purchased by the city of Gothenburg, who still own it today. However, operations of the park were awarded to Liseberg AB, the Liseberg company, only a single year later. Over the next few decades, the park slowly expanded, adding new rides and attractions. The Liseberg Bath, a large outdoor swimming pool, opened to the public in 1936, while the new decade brought the introduction of the now iconic entrance design featuring the classic two large towers. The entrance gate has since been rebuilt, but the historical design has remained the same ever since. As the park changed over time, so too did the types of investments. 1962 saw the debut of the same House of Mirrors that can be experienced today, and 1966 saw the construction of the park's second roller coaster, Super 8, a Schwarzkopf Wildcat. For its 50th anniversary, Liseberg constructed one of its most classic attractions, the Flume Ride. The Aerodynamics Log Flume was one of the first rides at the park to make use of its interesting terrain by travelling up the hillside before plummeting back down through two large drops. The 1977 season saw the debut of the park's first small-scale roller coaster, Circus Expressum. The ride, a Zero Tivoli coaster, was removed in 2008 and replaced with Rebolder, a modern-day Zero roller coaster, only a single year later. In 1980, Super 8 was replaced by Liseberg's Lupin, the park's first inverting roller coaster. Guests who rode the classic Schwarzkopf Looping Star were taken through a single vertical loop during the exciting layout. 1983 saw the introduction of the park's now well-known mascot, the Liseberg Bunny, the green and pink rabbit. This was followed four years later by the park's first roller coaster that still operates today. Liseberg Barnon can be found on Liseberg's hillside, making fantastic use of the terrain with a fun helix-based layout. The ride, which is a custom zero sit-down coaster designed by the Schwarzkopf company, now remains one of the oldest, large attractions at the park. Liseberg's skyline continued to expand with the debut of the Liseberg Tower. The attraction was a 146 meter high observation tower, giving guests fantastic views of the park and the nearby city. Interestingly, the ride wasn't the first to use that name. In 1927, a tower with the same name was constructed outside of the park as a colorful landmark. Unfortunately, this was burnt down in 1938. The observation tower has also seen changes over its lifetime closing in 2010 for renovation. A year later, it became what was at the time Europe's tallest drop tower, Atmosphere. Prior to this, and the new millennia, Liseberg constructed two new attractions for the 1997 season. Colorado, an Intamin River Rapids ride, and Hangover, a Vacoma Invertigo coaster, expanded the park quickly. This was followed by the introduction of another large-scale roller coaster, Boulder, for Liseberg's 80th anniversary. The Intamin prefabricated wooden roller coaster can still be found at the park today, thrilling riders by taking them on a compact and airtime filled journey. Boulder remains only one of four prefabricated wooden coasters in the world. Liseberg continued to invest in new roller coasters, introducing Kanonen, an Intamin hydraulic launch coaster, in 2005. 
The ride featured a compact, inversion-based layout and a top speed of 75 km per hour. Unfortunately, Kunona was removed in 2016 to make way for the park's newest roller coaster edition, Valkyria. 2007 saw the debut of Up Sphinget and SNS Screamin's Wing, while 2012 resulted in the construction of two new attractions, Jukebox and the Liseberg Wheel. The following year saw the construction of Canine Landet, Rabbit Land, a children's area of the park featuring a second family roller coaster, Stamp Barnum. At this point, with the last thrilling addition occurring in 2007, Liseberg decided to invest in its most expensive attraction so far. For the 2014 season, Helix, the park's Mac launch coaster, opened to the public. Helix drastically changed the landscape of Liseberg, taking guests on a lengthy roller coaster journey through the interesting hillside terrain. During the experience, riders traverse two LSM launches and navigate a total of seven inversions. Helix has helped to place Liseberg on the theme park map, with many praising the ride as one of the best in Europe. Since then, the park has gained a new ride each season. 2015 saw the debut of Mechanica, a zero star shape. 2016 resulted in the construction of Aerospin, a Gerstlauer sky roller located on top of the hillside, while 2017 saw the opening of Lok, the park's large Intamin gyro swing. Finally, for the 2018 season, Liseberg invested in another large-scale roller coaster. Valkyria, a B&M dive coaster, can be found towards the back of the park, allowing riders to climb 50 meters high before causing them to plummet vertically towards the ground below. The new attraction features some fantastic theming elements, including a beautiful station building and queue line. Both Valkyria and Lok have helped to produce the new area of myths and legends, marking a step towards well-themed park sections. Throughout its history, Liseberg has been constantly evolving. The removal of less exciting rides and the introduction of newer, more thrilling attractions has helped the park to stay modern yet maintain its older and more historic feel. Looking to the future, it's extremely likely that Liseberg will continue to invest in new and exciting rides, securing its title as one of Scandinavia's most visited amusement parks.